What it is, y'all, it is your old boy Pilk. It's been a while since we've talked, and I want to take some time out of... You can actually kind of tell what's been happening to me. Um, you, I want to take some, some time out here from the busy schedule to bring you guys the news, because we do this every week, and it's a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and get down to this. We've got a decent amount to talk about today, including a new long tail. And gotcha. There's going to be two gotchas associated with this. You're going to get another free-to-play Hermes, kind of like the Hermes we just got. Well, not... Anyway, we'll get to what he does in a moment. It's not the same, but... I mean, you know, it's it's an off Hermes, Hermes. That makes sense. That's producer Hermes because it kind of was a Hermes-ish Hermes. This Hermes is... He's still ladies' male. It's, it is Hermes. It's always Hermes. <laughs> Hermes is... Well, we'll get to that. So, I like Hermes for now. This is the banner that is uh, incoming tomorrow. One of the two banners that's incoming tomorrow. We're going to get a new Eyes, new Tiona, and a new Loki. I haven't had Loki in a good minute. New Leafia, new Tione, and a new Eyes. Yeah, we get two Eyes. No, it's the same Eyes. So there's five units in total. Not six. Five units in total incoming. Um, so let's talk about what each one of these units do. First things first. This is the new Tiona. All right. And we'll cover these in a little bit more detail tomorrow when we, you know, do the Before You Summon video, which I will force myself to get out. I'll probably record it uh, this afternoon or something and then just have it for you guys tomorrow morning just so I can save some time because I've really got my... If you guys have been following the uh, Twitter and the community tab and all that, I've got a big home project that literally has to get done, like, today. Um, and I really feel like I'm going to need tomorrow, too, for it. So... Uh, Neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and get down to what Tione, Tione, said Tione, Tione does. Uh, skill 1, 49 MP cost. Foes, plural, fast high thunder physical attack with ultra and counter rate, temporary strength boost, allies, clear all agility and dex debuffs. Interesting. We haven't had one of those in a good long time. Uh, skill 2 is a 56 MP. Foes, plural, super thunder physical attack with ultra uh, penetration, and physical resist down 30%, strength and thunder damage plus 60% for four turns. That's actually really nice for an AoE unit. Um, she doesn't do that new thing though, does she? Uh, and skill 30 is a, th I'm sorry, skill three is a 30 MP cost. Lol. Uh, foe singular high thunder physical attack with ultra critical for every thunder debuff on herself. She does skill damage 40%. That's good. Notice she's lacking that extra attack thing that everybody seems to do. Hmm. See how many units in this uh, actually have that. Very interesting. But her stats are, I mean, off the damn chain. Just really, really awesome stats here. So, you know, you're going to want this unit for uh, for your AoE Thunder team. Very awesome unit. Her SA is Foes, plural, Ultra Thunder Physical Attack with Ultra on Guard Rate. Temporary great strength boost and physical resist minus 60% for one turn. Uh, that minus 60, I think minus 60% is the biggest I think we've ever had. I think prior to this, 50 might have been the biggest we've ever had. So minus 60 is really awesome. For an AoE team, she's going to be absolutely extraordinary. Yes, I am telling you it is time to summon again. Now, let's talk about Tiona. Tiona, once again, very good stats. Uh... Agility, not as high, but now her... So notice that her Endurance and Dex is a bit higher with that little cost of Agility. Interesting that. Uh, skill 1 is a 43 MP cost. Foes, plural, fast buff. In fast buff, Thunder Resist, minus 35%. So maybe the buff is the fast part and the Thunder... That's weird. I'd have to see how that plays out. Thunder Resist, minus 35%. Dex and Agility minus 30% for four turns. Gain three additional actions. Okay. So let me reread this because it's written in a weird way. I'm going to say it's Thunder Resist minus 35%. Dex and Agility minus 30% for four turns. Gain three additional actions. This is the thing I was talking about that Tiona doesn't have. Or Tiona doesn't have. Uh, gain three additional actions. Foes. Low Thunder Physical Attack. So that's that kind of new mechanic we've got in the game. Very cool mechanic. Um... Skill 2, 47 MP cost. 
foes, plural, high thunder physical attack with ultra critical and temporary strength boost, self strength and thunder damage plus 60% for three turns. So basically you want to do skill two, then skill one, skill two, skill one, skill two, skill one, blah, 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 blah. Um, well, actually you do skill two, skill one several times. Or no, skill two, skill one, skill two a couple times, skill one, skill two a couple times, skill one, blah, 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 blah. Skill three is a 27 MP cost, foe singular, high thunder physical attack with ultra penetration for every strength buff on herself, skill damage plus 40%, not end of the world stuff, pretty much what we expect from a unit in this day and age. Special arts, foes, plural, ultra thunder physical attack with ultra penetration, temporary great strength boost, Skin, we're starting to see that a lot more. Allies, clears all strength and magic debuffs. I, I'm going to give that a, res, uh, a resounding meh. Like, I like that, like, uh, I like that utility, I guess you could say, in a unit being able to remove strength and magic debuffs. But my thing is, I like that on a skill. <sighs> on an essay, it's kind of... I think there's better things we could do with the essays, like boost outgoing damage or something like that, personally. Um, that said, she's going to be really good. Uh, another really awesome uh, AoE Thunder unit, and a physical unit, no less. So, probably on your radar, not quite as much as Tione, I would say. But Tiona definitely fairly decent. Uh, I didn't cover Tione's passives, I'll cover it tomorrow in the Before You Summon video. Uh, we'll get to that. We'll get to all that tomorrow. New Leafia. Okay. Once again, as you can expect, really decent stats. Especially for uh, for magic. That's a really high magic stat. Uh, HP's a little on the squishy side, but that, once again, is kind of... You know, magic units tend to do that. Uh, skills. Skill 1. 22 MP cost. Self magic plus 90% for 5 turns. Gain 4 additional actions. Foe singular. Low Thunder Magic Attack. So she's, you know, she, you can already tell she's going to be a uh, Record Buster unit. And since she's a Thunder, expect the new Record Buster that's incoming this week, uh, spoiler alert, to be Thunder, or to be weak to Thunder. I haven't gotten quite gotten there yet in the video, but I just expect it. Skill 2. 15 MP cost. Interesting. Self. Thunder damage plus 75%. Foe single target Resistance, minus 20% for four turns. Really interesting. Skill three, 182 MP cost. Okay, there's where... Now it starts to make sense. Super Thunder Magic Attack with Ultra Critical Rate for every magic buff on yourself. Skill damage plus 40%. Not end of the world stuff. And 40% is a little lower than I would expect, honestly. Um, but her essay is for singular... Ultra Thunder Magic Attack with Ultra Critical for every magic weapon herself. Skill damage plus 80%. Remember that 80% is actually tacked onto every buff she's got. And unlike the other unit we just got, the... Uh, was that a Tiona unit? What was the unit we got just recently? It does that. Anyway, I like the uh, other Aisha, the Winter Aisha. Removes all her buffs. Because skill 3 doesn't do that, the, the SA will go ahead and do the 80% damage with out removing or I'm um, see skill three will do 80% damage and that's 80 that 80% is tacked onto every magic buff she got so it's 160% basically if you have a really good magic buff on the assist side and a good magic buff either from herself or her or whoever on the adventurer side um the 82 heavy cost seems a little extreme for her essay especially considering her essay is one of those you're going to want to spam. So really consider putting someone on her that restores MP. Uh, she does get 10% MP regen every turn as one of her passive skills. But we'll go into more of those tomorrow uh, in the Before You Summon video. Um, she's going to be an absolute killer unit. Though, that 40%, I would really like to see more like a 60%. If we're going to do 182 MP cost, either do like an 80% the room's magic buff. So I know we just got that mechanic. But... Or do like a 60%. If it's going to be that high in MP cost, we need to have something to offset that. 40% really doesn't seem all that high for that. But Or, or hear me out, an SA gauge boost or something like that. You know, I, just, I expect a little more. Either way, she's going to be an absolute 
unit destroyer in the single target realm. So she's going to be absolutely killer. And she's a Phantasma killer, which I believe all of these thus far have been. Um, so if you're up against a Thunder Phantasma unit, or I think... Uh, would it be Earth? Uh, I forget who would be weak to Thunder. Anyway, um, it would be Water. Water Phantasma unit. This would just absolutely take them apart. Um... Let's talk about eyes. Bam. Okay. What do I have up there twice? There you go. Eyes is an assist this time. Uh, when she's maximum broken, allies strength and critical rate plus 15%, thunder damage plus 20%. So now we have a 20% thunder. I don't think we've had one of those before. Maybe we've had one that debuffed 20%, but we haven't had one that buffs 20%, especially not thunder. We don't have a lot of those, so this is going to be absolutely awesome glad to see thunder's getting some aoe love and this is a great assist uh once again if you're going to be building a team for record buster which you know your old boy's going to be um you're going to want to get this uh eyes unit for absolute certain and that uh and that leaf yeah for absolute certain okay the other assist is loki okay pretty good stats on loki not end of the world stuff but pretty good stuff uh, skill, foes, plural, heal 25, heal minus 25%, critical encounter rate minus 20%. This basically is a, she's a war game unit. So she'll have, make a great, 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 great unit on your war games team. Um, I would almost say really necessary and a good stall breaker. We've had some really good stall breakers lately. I think she's going to be an absolutely spectacular stall breaker. I really need to stop clapping my hands together. I'm so used to that, but it actually hurts because my hands are all swollen. All right. Hermes. This Hermes is going to be free to play. And... 1,200 HP and a free to play stat? New phone? Who dis? Anyway, he's going to be a drop unit. He's going to drop from the current event. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say you're going to want this unit. Let's see what his actual skills are. So, allies, plural, penetration rate plus 10%, foes, AoE damage resistance minus 7%. Eh, not, and not really end of the world unit. Um, HP stats really good. So, I do see some situations where he's going to be awesome. Tack him on a unit that's like a, maybe on the little on the squishier side. Great in that realm of free to play, but the skills leave a lot to be desired, in my opinion. Okay? Now, that's all the new units. We'll talk about them in a little bit more detail tomorrow on the Before You Summon video. There will, of course, be whale bundles. Um, eek, eek, eek to my whale brethren. Um, looks like you're going to get two tickets. I'm sure one of those is a guaranteed 11 draw for the current events. Um, it is a sword oratoria uh, thing. I noticed that didn't notice that before. Turbulent Shore Rondo. So, if you've been following those, I haven't read any of the light novels yet. Just started the light novels from Main Damaji, so we'll get to that uh, with time. But looks like some Ascension Fauna, some regular Fauna, some books, good stuff on that. This will be, and I'm gonna guess that's gonna be like 600 MP that, or 600 paid hours. It's usually what those have gone for lately, and hopefully we'll get multiples. Uh, this one should be about 300, give or take. And you're going to get uh, some Fauna, some Mixilia, and a guaranteed 11 draw. I would think just one. So, still a pretty good value. Especially if you've been buying up the... Uh, if you were buying up all the Iris last week when it was on sale. Speaking of which, we're getting another Iris sale. 300 Iris for the cost of 400. A 14, or 1600 Iris for the cost of 1400. You know... Choose your damage. Uh, Mega Player XP Quest. Now, this actually is coming back in this week. Right now, we have the Valis Quest. Hopefully, you saw my video on that last week. This one, if you got, if you're a player on the North American server or on the Japanese server, uh, I think those are the only two servers that currently have it. I don't even think the Asia Minor server has it. Um, probably a good chance to just grind out some casino and get those casino armors because that's going to increase your player XP. Uh, actually, no, I take that. I don't think that does player XP. I take that back. I think that does unit XP. No, no, it's XP because it's that's CP I'm thinking of. Yeah, no, that do that will do player XP. So there you go. 
Get some of those XP items from the uh, from the casino if you have the casino in your region, and then go ahead and get ready for this. This will be coming in tomorrow evening. Hopefully, 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 I'm gonna try my absolute best to be able to stream tomorrow. Uh, tonight is very up in the air. Make sure you you know stay tuned to Twitter and to the community tab. I will update later today whether there will be a stream tonight. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've been absolutely wiped out these past couple of nights, but I'm going to try for you guys tonight. Definitely going to try my hardest for tomorrow night. Uh, but like I said, stay tuned to the community tab and all that. Also, hit subscribe to the notification bell if you haven't already. Record Buster's back. Rebus is back for that. We've talked about what she does before, and there's no real indication here of what she's going to be. I don't think... No, it doesn't really look like it's much of an indication. I'm going to guess she's going to be water, only because we have all those thunder units coming in. So expect her to be weak to thunder. Remember, they always, well, always, generally, they make the new unit, the, the new record busters, weak to whatever element we just got. So that makes sense. Seven Zone is back. Make sure you finish up your other Seven Zones. They run out tonight. We'll get new Seven Zones this week. Uh, we don't know what they are, but we'll get those in the data mine video tomorrow. Uh, daily login bonus. This is what the login bonus is going to look like. You got, what? 70 iris on there a uh, couple of tickets that's kind of nice and some hero fauna which i desperately 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 need so that's handy events ending this week seven zone war game and tonight valis quest and the summer carnival and tomorrow so make sure you do these runs get all 15 levels out if you haven't already if you're going for all of the gnome tickets get your 5500 uh pieces out um, I've been falling a little behind because of my projects, breaking my fingers. Um, so I've got like a little bit of grind to do at some point tomorrow, today, hopefully. We'll see. You know, life comes first, unfortunately. But that's pretty much everything. Tomorrow we're going to get the uh, Long Tail for Turbulent Shore Rondo. We're going to get the gotchas. We're going to get the bundles. We're going to get bonus Iris campaign. That's the, uh, the Iris sales. Once a day player XP quest, remember the Val's quest goes away uh, tomorrow night and then the XP quest comes in. That's what you need to go into the casino, if you have the casino, and get those armors for. Seventh Zone and Record Buster kick off as well. The login bonus kicks off on Thursday. Episode 2 of Season 3 drops on Friday. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to uh, get a review out for you guys a lot earlier than I was able to last week. Fingers crossed. Um... And we should get all our Damachi stuff. Now, we didn't talk about the new unit for Season 3, Episode 2, but it is this Hestia. And unfortunately, we do not have any details on her. At all. None. Maybe they'll leak. Maybe they'll leak those details today and we can talk about it tomorrow in the Before You Summon video. Usually these units are pretty good, but... I can say with a fair amount of certainty, Hestia is going to be an assist. I don't think we've, I don't think we're ever going to see a Hestia adventure. Well, rephrase that. Probably not. It's going to be, it's going to be a rare one-off thing. But um, a Hestia assist. So save for her. I get the feeling she's going to be extremely useful. These assists tend to be pretty decent when we get them for the anime. Um, so save some Iris for her, consider her, uh, if she's alone on this banner, which it looks like she's going to be, that means she's going to be really easy to pull, especially with your paid Iris. Hopefully she's better than Winnie, Vinny, whatever her name is. Um, whatever you want to call her really. Uh, hopefully she's better than that, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm hoping we get some leaks on her tomorrow. I'm going to push my data miner to try to figure that out. Other than that, guys, that is the video. Like, comment, and share. I will catch you guys on the next one.